Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sepp recording this video from out of this amazing boat. It's a short instruction video for our Flatsome uh, templates that we are selling. Probably you already purchased one or maybe you even purchased the all access pass so you can make use of all our templates. If you haven't, go to sepdeloweb.com and there you can find our pre-made designs for the Flatsome WooCommerce team. Um, once you have done this, you probably already did step one and two. So install the Flatsome uh, theme with WooCommerce if you want to make it to a web shop. And then you imported the theme options and then it will probably look something like this. And it looks different for each of our templates, of course, but you can already see it's missing some UX blocks and you will probably also want to make use of our pre-made designs and the pages that we have uh, created for you. So let's get started and let's import the template files. And the first thing that you need to do is download the XML file. And this file contains the pages, the posts, UX blocks, and UX templates. Uh, going back to your project, go to WordPress, and then go to Tools and run the importer uh, at the WordPress section. You, if you haven't done this before, you need to download a plugin. And I personally like to keep my plugin library as clean as possible. So after my import, I delete the plugin. I will show you in a second. So run the importer. And then choose your file. I can also drag it, the XML file that we have just downloaded, and then upload file and import. And then it says, do I need to create a new user or do I need to assign everything to an existing user? So select your own user here. And then you can also say download and import files attachments. Uh, you don't need to do this because we are not including the images inside the XML. You will still see the images in the demo, but um, uh, we have decided not to, um, to, uh, to, to include the, to, whew, the photo files inside the XML file because simply we don't want to ruin your media library with all kinds of images that you won't be using anyway. So um, you can leave this unchecked and run uh, the importer. Once you have done this, uh, I'm going to explain you a little bit what has been imported right away. You can also see that probably the website looks a little bit better already, as you can see. Uh, at the moment, the homepage is, hasn't been assigned yet. I'm going to quickly show you how to do this anyway. Going to settings, reading, maybe you already know this, but here, instead of showing the latest post, select your homepage. And in this case, we're going forward with Blitz Home, save changes, and then it already looks much better as you can see so all the pages has been downloaded or imported inside your project as you can see and the main reason why we put blitz in front of all the page names is because you will probably want to make an um you want to see which pages are yours and you want to see which pages are connected to our templates and in this way you can delete files or you know uh, in, uh, merge files or what whatsoever and also if you, you are making use of the all access pass you maybe want to combine templates and try different things so trying the different about pages or maybe some different contact pages and play around with that which works the best for you and since we design in a kind of a uh, semantic way you can even combine all the pages and it will still look nice um, yeah, I, I think I've said enough about the pages for now. Um, if you maybe want to, uh, not make use of one of our pages, but still want to make use of one of our designs, you can also create a new page and then go inside the UX builder. And of course you need to publish, but I'm going to quickly go ahead. And if you haven't put any element here, you can go to custom and here you can find the UX templates ready for you. So in this way, I can also click on home and then it will import that homepage layout directly in your newly created page. So that's a really nice uh, feature. Um, I think I'm done with the pages. So let's go back to WordPress. We also uh, imported the post. And the only thing what about posts is that I cannot um, send images with it. So when I'm going to open up the post files, you are seeing uh, images inside the post that works, but I cannot um, show featured image on the post section. So here you can see the latest news. It's not showing any images. So if you want to uh, put an image there, you need to go to the specific post 
and then you need to upload of course a, a featured image here and then uh, it will show a nice cover image so that's good to know um that's everything i needed to say about the post and then ux blocks it's an important thing that we're using throughout our all our projects, but also definitely in our templates. And here you can see we're having a custom dropdown for men, custom dropdown for women, custom footer, custom hero block, and even a custom product layout. For each of our templates, it's a little bit different, but in most cases, we're creating a custom footer because we simply like to create something really professional uh, looking and not like default WordPress template. And also we are creating custom product layouts for all our e-commerce templates. And in this way, uh, we, having, we don't have any products in this demo, but in this way, your product layout looks even better. Um, that's everything I needed to say about the UX uh, blocks. I think we're done. Yeah, oh yeah, so I told you everything about updating and combining. So it can happen that we are updating the template with new files. Uh, with new page layouts. So the only thing what you need to do is download the XML file again, import it, and it will already recognize the old pages and all the other stuff that is already imported. And then it will only add the new stuff that we have created for you. So thank you for watching. Uh, good luck with your project. And if you have any questions, do go to the support section and then you can just leave um, a message to our uh, type form um yeah okay thank you so much bye bye